Picture the scene. You spent a lot of time and effort. You've been building up your system. You've been adding facilities so that your solar and battery system can continue to operate when the grid goes down. And all of a sudden, something changes. The cloud goes away. I don't mean the cloud in the sky. I mean the cloud on the internet that we all rely on for all of our devices. What happens? Well, yesterday we experienced just that. EcoFlow, the manufacturer of portable battery systems and small home solar systems, had a major cloud outage. And I learned a couple of really important things during that time. So let me explain what happened first, then we'll talk about what I learned from it. And stick around to the end and I'll give you a couple of hints as to what you can do to make sure that you don't fall foul of a situation like this. So yesterday morning, I woke up with no notifications that anything was wrong. Um, I looked at my system and I noticed that the fence mounted solar panels that you can see behind me, um, they were generating about half what I would expect at that time of the morning. Now the panels themselves were fine, they were generating. What wasn't happening was the base load was not being supplemented from my EcoFlow batteries. I thought, that's strange, better go and investigate. Everything seemed to be fine. Then I noticed the batteries were at 100%. Now I charge my batteries overnight so that they're full ready to go for the next day. So if we do have a cloudy day, then they can continue to supply the base load into the house. But they were at 100%, the panels were generating and the batteries were not supplementing that base load. Then, as most of you know, yesterday um, was one of the hottest days of the year here in the UK. So I went to my app and I tried to turn on my EcoFlow air conditioning unit and no bueno. Okay, I thought, let me take a look at what other EcoFlow devices I have. And I couldn't connect to any of them. All the app said was there was something wrong with my network. No other indications that there were any faults, no logs, no, not even a notification to say that the network was down. Now, I spent half an hour testing everything that I could. Um, I looked online on the EcoFlow website, nothing, no mention of any problems. I went to Down Detector, which is a, a great resource if you don't know what Down Detector is. Down Detector is a website that just consolidates people's reports of problems. So for instance, if your local internet goes down, um, get on your phone, go to Down Detector and see if your local internet provider, whoever that is, um, if people are reporting issues with it. So it's a great way to see when the companies are not being upfront, you can actually see if lots of people are having a similar experience to you. And it blew up. Um, there were hundreds of people within the, within the last hour all reporting issues with EcoFlow. A couple of hours later, a post appeared on the uh, EcoFlow Facebook group, which seems to be their favored method of communication, saying that they'd had a major cloud outage. Um, no details of what the cloud outage was or where it was or which particular servers were affected. Um, lots of speculation which are in the comments about uh, servers in China. Um, I don't know if any of that is true. Um, but the reality is the location of the servers are irrelevant if they've gone offline. So this became a real problem because what had actually happened during the night was my EcoFlow microinverter puts itself into basically sleep mode. My batteries charge themselves from the grid. So I have a, an automation that runs to turn one off, let the batteries charge, and then turn the battery charging off and then turn the inverter back on. The outage had happened right in the middle of those. So the batteries were still charging, but the inverter hadn't come back on. And there was no way for me to change that state because I went into the app, the app couldn't connect to the cloud, and there's no physical buttons. There's no way to force it to do anything without using the app. Now, another three or four hours went by and uh, another post on Facebook where they suggested you use uh, Bluetooth to communicate with your devices rather than try and do it over Wi-Fi. Um, now, for some EcoFlow devices that works, you can communicate with them via Bluetooth, but you certainly can't configure your inverter or, um, 
all of the, the more complicated settings, the things that you might want to be able to do via Bluetooth. Um, it, it is a much reduced feature set. And this got me thinking, how many other smart devices in my house do I have that don't have local control? Now, let's talk about what, what does local control mean? Local control means that you do not need a cloud connection to be able to operate your device. Um, if the cloud goes down, then even some basic functionality should be available either through the app, through physical buttons, or through third-party software. Now, for anyone who's been on the channel a while, you'll know that my favored third-party software here is Home Assistant. Now, there are no official EcoFlow Home Assistant plugins. Um, there is a really great third-party one, uh, which I use. It doesn't have local control. Um, it uses the cloud, just like the EcoFlow app does. It talks to the cloud, which talks to the device. So there was absolutely no way for me to control these devices. But it did kick off an idea in my head, and that was that I needed to do an audit of every single smart device in my house to make sure that um, I had a way of locally controlling them, if it was at all possible. Um, so with all of my devices, certainly the ones that are in Home Assistant, there is some form of local support. Luckily, my Solar Edge system, again, not officially supported, but there is a great Solar Edge uh, what's a plugin called Modbus Multi. And uh, that allows me local control through a, a setting you do have to turn on on your inverter that lets you do uh, Modbus over TCP. Um, and that allows you to control it directly on your local network with no cloud intervention. So if the cloud were to go down, SolarEdge cloud would go down, I could continue to run my system. I could make changes to my system um, until such time as it came back. But I just can't do that with EcoFlow. There are no local APIs, there are no, uh, no equivalent of Modbus to allow me to do this, um, which is now making me start to consider whether or not I should change vendors. Um, because if these are reliant upon servers, and again, it doesn't really matter where the server in the is in the world if it goes offline, um, but right now I'm not confident in their ability, A, to communicate when there is a problem, B, to keep us up to date. I mean, the, this outage lasted nine hours. Um, now, I've worked in IT for years, and I know the first thing that happens, you do a server update, something goes wrong, you roll it back to the previous instance. That does not take nine hours. So I think there's more to this than, uh, than they're letting on. But right now, my confidence level with EcoFlow is as low as it can possibly get. My suggestion to all of you is please, please, please take a look at all of your devices, certainly the critical ones. Your, your inverter and battery control is the one I would start with. And make sure that you have some way to control that if the cloud goes away. Now, the cloud could go away for an hour. It could go away for a day. It could go away for a week. The company that's providing it could collapse. You know, if SolarEdge were to go away tomorrow as an entity and turned off all their servers, I would at least be able to control the system I've got through the Modbus multi plugin uh, using Home Assistant. So please check that there are alternate ways to control your system should you suffer a much longer term outage. Now, I'm happy to say um, EcoFlow brought the system back up. Um, they seem to get everybody online. I did see some very strange behavior, which I'll, I'll show you the recording on the screen here where um, you could see I was trying to change the setting to start the battery supplying energy and they would supply for a few seconds and then it would roll back. And I think the settings weren't getting through to the cloud. Um, so there, there was some major, major problems yesterday. But fingers crossed, it has now all been resolved and we don't need to worry about it going forward, at least not until the next cloud outage. Anyway, I hope this has been useful and I hope this will stimulate you to go and check about local network access to all of your devices and certainly those, those critical ones. And if I'm lucky, I will see you back here real soon for another video. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>